I'm gonna play Hello, friends. <laughs> a song in a couple of seconds here. Um, and uh, we're gonna be recording this and I'm gonna mix it down. We're gonna add, we didn't tell you, we're gonna add strings, uh, uh, cannons going off in the background. Yeah. Right. We're actually gonna get lightning recorded going cannon. into the bottle. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's gonna be the all full, that kind the full on Sinatra soundscape. Right? Exactly. Yeah. We've right. actually hired. We're in the land of the Sinatra. We are. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what it is out here. Unfortunately, they're all long gone now. Wi-Fi right? came back to work. Dusty. Yeah. Wi-Fi is back. Okay. So when you're rolling, let me know. And then you can just slate it rolling. Cool. This is called Electric Love, the campfire version. One, two. Candy, she's sweet like candy in my veins. Baby, I'm dying for another taste. And every day my mind is running around her. The fun is getting louder and louder. Running around her. Oh, the fun is getting louder, louder and louder. Baby, you're lying, lying in a bottle. I can't let you go now that I got it. And all, all I need is to be struck by your electric love. love. Yeah, baby, you're electric love, yeah, woohoo, yeah, baby, you're electric love. Yeah! yeah. All right, so we're just going to keep that rolling. You can still talk into that microphone, but I'm going right. to ask the people on the Facebook Live here, and you can answer right there. Yeah. Inspiration for that song. Inspiration. Uh... Because it came from a few different places, sort of for a uh, just a, uh, a primal love of glam rock, um, and uh, you know those uh, those late a, a night fantasies. A T Rex reference, then Electric Warrior, sure. Electric Love. Is that definitely got some Electric Warrior in there? I mean, the shuffle beat, fuzz guitar, right. big. Yes. You know, who produced it? Tony Visconti produced that. The T Rex album um, back in the day, because he's still doing he did, stuff. Isn't yeah, he? yeah, yeah. He did the he did the last boy record. Right, the last boy record. Um, Tommy English, the new Tony Visconti. Tommy English. Yeah. Where now? How did you meet Tommy English? Tell me, what's that? How does that uh, work? Tommy is a phenomenal producer living in L.A. He's a um, Chicago native, um, so we're Midwest homies. But uh, yeah, amazing producer, songwriter. We uh, we did the whole album together. So. Did you take him that version of it and he turned it into, or did you go? No, we. How was your first demo? On yeah, it? we wrote it together. Um, it just started with the the drum beat, the guitar riff. He played the guitar riff. Right. And then we just layered a bunch of vocals on top, just like screaming. Um, and uh, and then I was driving around and I just kind of wrote the verses. So, yeah. Driving around where? Uh, L. A. L. A. Yep. When? How long ago did you leave Michigan? How long did you bail? Um. Like three, I've been in LA for three years. So, yeah. Tell me about Grand Haven. Not much culture, I'm guessing. What do you? What goes on in Grand Haven? Uh, no, there's plenty of culture in Grand Haven. 
Furniture? We have, we have what, the, what else are they doing? Furniture. Oh, that's Grand Rapids, sorry. I they mean, make furniture, right? Um, that's creative. Maybe. Uh, there's a lot of artists in Grand Haven. Um, and there's surfers that surf the Great Lakes. There's a musical fountain. Um, there's beautiful beaches and fresh water. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of musicians out of there, yeah. And when you guys leave, is it Chicago's the main goal or LA? Where do you where do you guys go to put your roots down? When we leave, what do you mean? Well, if you, because you're not living in Grand Haven now, right? No, I live in LA. So if oh, you have leave to leave, here. if you no, if you, if you have to leave Grand Haven to go out and you know stake your claim, is it Chicago's the first choice for with with the musicians, the artists in uh, Grand Haven, or what do you guys do? Um. Uh. I'm is sorry. It, I don't, is I don't it, is it a, okay, so basically, <laughs> when people like Axl Rose had to leave wherever he was, Indiana, right? Yeah. And he moved to LA because at that time he okay. had, you know, LA was the goal. Sure. Some people go Chicago because of influences, blues influence. Some people go to okay. New York because they want to be like television. Uh, why, why LA for you? Oh, why LA? Um, I have no idea. I didn't mean to start to, to move to LA. It was like a, a month writing trip that ended up, um, I'm still on it. You're still, still on it? Three still and a half on years it. Still later. on that vacation. Well, it sounds good. Yeah, thanks, It sounds man. really good. Thanks. It's an amazing song. Thanks. And has anybody, I know they've all told you there's a Jeff Buckley quality to your voice. Yes? Um, I've never heard of it. Yeah. Nobody ever has. It's oh. kind of crazy. Huh. But I actually saw him do a similar thing like this years and years and years ago. Oh, yeah? And it's very haunting because there's not many people that can actually stretch that much. Oh. Nobody oh. can actually do that and emote at the same time. Most people just start squealing. <laughs> and you do an amazing job. There's so. a good amount of squealing that goes um, behind closed doors. No, oh. no, <laughs> no double entendre intended. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. This is Borns. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Happy Coachella. Okay. You got to do a break. We're going to set up for the next thing. Um, nice. Thank you very much. That, yeah, was, yeah. that was amazing. Thank you. The weird thing is when we, when he, when Jeff first started playing the show.